Yo, what's going on guys? It's your boy Pizza and today we are in Madden 17 Mythbusters I am genuinely excited for this episode because I really don't know how this is gonna turn out before we jump into this myth I just want to give a huge shout out to the man with this idea Thank you so much double a and if you want to be like him and get a shout out Give me a sick myth down below you just might end up in my next video But I'm not a rapper also I'm challenging you guys on this video if we can smash 10,000 likes on it next week I'm gonna come out with a banger Madden 17 Mythbusters that I know you guys are gonna want to see. The one and only myth for today, as I'm sure that you can tell by the title, is wondering if we can make the playoffs by tying every single game. Now, like I said, I am genuinely interested by this. Just imagine this for a second, all right? Imagine a team plays two games and they tie both of them, all right? And then another team in the same exact division wins one and then loses the other. Would the team with two ties be ahead of the other team that has the win? Or would the team that has the win and loss be ahead of the team that has two ties? Or maybe the record's tied. It's time to randomly select an NFL team. Detroit Lions. Wow. I'm pretty sure Detroit has Jim Caldwell as a coach. Just look at this guy. He looks like a fuzzy turd with teeth. And I'm not really looking for any drama of our head coach passing away from old age halfway through the season. So how about we just create our own? What I'm thinking for coaches is that we could just name him after one of the best coaches in the NFL. Oh. Um, I, I mean, I was looking at my files and I was kind of thinking it was going to be Bill Belichick, John Madden, Vince Lombardi. Wait, what are you doing? I was just typing in the words that you were saying. Whatever, it really doesn't matter that much, I guess. I'd say we're pretty much good for our coach. Let's start tying games. Our season starts now. And by the way, I'm not going to be an idiot. I'm putting all their sliders down. Because let me just tell you something. This is clearly going to take a long time. And if I have to restart this, you know how mad I'm going to be? We have 16 games to play. Week 1 is going to be against the Colts. Let's get it started. Now, I know that we're playing on a pretty low difficulty and the sliders are in our favor. But whenever you play 16 games, sooner or later, something's bound to go wrong. That's why we need to stay cool, calm, and collected along with patient. And that's a great way to do it. Now, please, let's not forget we cannot think about scoring at all whether it's a field goal a touchdown a safety any type of scoring at all that's just not what we're looking for and i might be able to just take all this clock out right now they cannot catch up to theoretic we're actually going to be able to do this the entire first quarter is going to tick off from one single play let's go hey guess who's tired some scrub running back that calls himself an nfl player that gets tired after one single play oh look at matt stafford this guy ain't getting tired he's not taking plays off a third down and 54 the detroit lions are calling the screen pass that's eaten up by the defense okay there's no need to take any stupid chances or risks that are gonna make it so there's a chance that we don't tie this game did he just miss that? What? You know what? That's not a bad idea. We just want to go into halftime. Hey, look, it's like they want to end things too. Golden Tate on the kick return. He's going upfield and auto juke is on. Don't you just love auto juke? I'm completely sarcastic, by the way. But um, yeah, I kind of forgot the fact that not only do we have to play all four quarters, but we also got to play in overtime as well. You're stupid. And that's kind of where we enter that risky territory, you know? Because if they accidentally score a field goal or something, the game's completely over. We have no chance to even tie it back up. By the way, Indianapolis, there's no need to call timeouts, all right? Wow, that actually worked. With this last run, it should bring us into overtime and Theo Riddick is getting a workload. Woo Could you imagine if that's at the end of the game, especially if it's online or something and they shoelace tackle you like that i don't know how the heck i'd react to it but we're heading to our first overtime we're going tails uh-oh the colts won the toss boys our defense has to be ready the good news though is that there is only a minute in these overtimes and whether we have to go through one or two of them it still shouldn't take too long if andrew luck passes his football he's gonna get smacked on third down and 10 all we need is to get a stop oh -ho -ho -ho! no 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 doyle that'll teach you a lesson do not run across that middle now it may have looked like that was a huge user fail but i just wanted to put fear into his eyes and really smack him you know what i mean uh-oh whoa what mr gymnastics pulling out front flips he nearly landed that sucker too okay let's just go ahead and run this football get tackled and overtime number one's gonna be over i don't think there's an overtime too but i can't really remember so let's kind of just hope that it's only one overtime which will strike right about now and okay yes that's very nice we only have to go through one overtime and they're gonna give us a tie 
one overtime in the books, a couple more to go. Actually, a whole lot more to go. Oh snap, one more thing that I forgot about, which is really important. I need to make sure that these guys in our standings, the Packers, the Vikings, the Bears, that they all set themselves up for losing to maximize our chances of standing at the top of the division. I know I'm about to be a little unethical right here, but it's time to force some losses. I'm sorry, Packers. I'm, I'm sorry, Vikings. Bears, I, I, I don't even have to touch the Bears. They're gonna lose no matter what. So I don't really have to force any losses on them. Sweet, less work for me. Everything is pretty much now good in that retrospect. So let's get into week number two. The kicker, Matt Prater, with the opening kickoff. And surely this boot is gonna be in the back of the end zone with that sick power and sick accuracy that we had. Oh, Mark Mariani's actually deciding to take this out. This is why you don't have white people back there. Oh my gosh. Don't score a touchdown. And don't have white people on the kick return. Matthew Stafford, he's looking to throw the football. It's a pass to Theo Riddick. And we're running all the way backwards. I don't think we're going to be able to take off all the clock on this one. So let's just go down. We don't want anybody to get hurt either. Actually, what the heck do I care? With one more run, this one to the second year pro, Amir Abdullah with the springs. And he's running down the sidelines, ladies and gentlemen. This one could be a touchdown. But guess what? Look at the dude with the moves. See, I'm just messing around right now. But you know what would be really stupid if this kick actually it went in that's not supposed to go in no um I really hope that the Titans can kick a field goal. What I'm going to kind of try to do is just set them up so they can get in that range, which is about right here. Please, oh, please don't get sacked, bro. Okay, he's going to drop it. Why the heck do I do this to myself? They're about to go for a field goal, and I do not remember if I put their kicking sliders all the way down or not. Please make it. Thank you. <gasps> Did you make it? He made it, yes. All right, you know what? No more being stupid. Besides that, I'll meet you guys in overtime. Here we are in overtime. And believe it or not, I didn't do anything else that was that stupid that basically ruined our chances of making it here. The awesome thing about this overtime is that we're getting the ball to start it. So we can basically just run this clock right out without worrying about them hitting another field goal or doing anything else stupid like that. And with this last run right here from Theo Riddick, the clock will tick out. Three, two, one. And the clock strikes zero, and overtime number two has been completed. This week will be against the Packers, who are inevitably in our division. We are personally going to go for the tie against them, but there's nothing that we can do because they versus the Bears and Vikings that some of these teams are going to have to pick up at least a couple wins. That's because they verse each other. Obviously, 16 ties is going to be better than 16 losses. <laughs> Wow! But is 16 ties without a single win better than, say, two wins with 14 losses? And I'm sure if I did a little bit of research, I'd be able to find that out. But let's be honest for a second. We all know it. I'm too lazy. And it would kind of ruin the whole, like, exciting factor about it. Whether or not this whole entire thing is a waste of my time. With only two seconds left on the clock, as Green Bay ice Matt Frader, will he be good enough to boot this game-winning field goal and give the Lions their first win of the season? That was way too close for comfort. Why am I doing this? I'm so dumb. By the way, surprise, we're in overtime. And surprise, this game is over. Three games in the books, 13 more to go. One and one is apparently better than 0 and 3. Remember that. But is one and two better than 0 and 3? Let's go ahead and find out right after this short commercial break. Boys, we are finally here in the last game of the regular season. This will be week 17. We're taking on rival Green Bay Packers. And to be quite honest, I'm pretty glad to be here. I didn't expect all this simulating, even with one minute quarters, to take so long. I'm not kidding, guys. It took me over two hours to get to this point where we're at right now. Luckily for me, that's with just about everything going in my favor. At this point, I'm sure all of you know my strategy and what we're going to do. So without wasting any more time... 
I'll meet you guys in quarter number five. There it is. We officially made it to the last overtime that I ever want to be into. Let's get this last minute finished. And hopefully, just hopefully, we made them playoffs. This is it. I think this is actually going to be our last run of the game. Yeah, I'm right. It actually is. And I cannot believe that I went through an entire season without leaving this chair. You got to leave a thumbs up for at least that, don't you? Without further ado, boys, I think it's actually time to check to see if we made the playoffs. As you can tell, our record is clearly 0-0-16. But will that be enough to surpass the 2-12-2 Packers? Or anybody else in our division? Let's find out. Oh, please tell me that we made it. Oh my gosh, we did. No way. At 0-0-16, we made the wild card and are supposed to take on the 10-5-1 New York Giants. That's unbelievable. If we take a gander at the stage, you can clearly clearly tell that even though we don't have any wins, it's a bit better than everybody else's record. That is so sick, man. Let's go. I think it is finally time where we can indeed draw our conclusions on this theory. After testing out this hypothesis, our myth was indeed confirmed. You can make the playoffs tying every single game. As always, I'm your boy Pizza. Thank you all so much for watching. If you did make it to this point in the video, it would be incredible if you would slap a like on it. Believe it or not, a lot of time actually goes into these videos, so it definitely helps me out. And with that said, if you wouldn't mind subscribing if you are brand new, we're going to be coming out with some amazing stuff I'm telling you that you've never seen before in Madden, and you're not going to want to miss out on it. Once again, I'm your boy Pizza. Don't forget to keep God number one. And until next time, I'm your boy, and I'm out. Peace out, guys. That was crazy. Hey, um, we're about to take a group photo. Would you mind taking all of our pictures? Well, what about me? Ain't I supposed to be in the picture, too? Here, no, you hold on to it. I'm gonna take the picture, all right? Here. No offense, but this might not be the best idea. What do you mean? It's always a good idea. Oh, boy, this isn't good. Say cheese. Cheese.